hey, hey, let's do a recessive, recessive epistasis problem. Yeah. Okay, so the, so far the problem told us that big C gives us color. So that would mean little c, little c. Or so big C dash is going to be color, right? That means any combination of big C. All right. So then little c, little c is no color. So big A dash, it told us, was a goody. And little a, little a is black. But we know that these two rely on the presence of a big C to get that, or else we're going to have no color. So we can rewrite this as a dash, c dash is a goody. Little a, little a, c dash is black. And so we can go a dash, little c, little c. No matter any combination of A, if we have little c, little c, that's no color. So those are going to be the three things that we're going to be looking for after we do our dihybrid cross. Okay, so, so what F1 and F2 genotype and phenotype ratios are obtained from a cross between big A, big A, big C, big C, and um, a, little A, little A, little C, little C. Okay, so F1 and F2. Anytime we see true breeders crossing, we're going to get what? Yeah, so our, our dihybrid. We're going to get heterozygous, you said, right? Yes. Okay. So this is our F1. And then it tells us to get our F2, so we're going to self-cross that. And this is whenever we do our like classic dihybrid cross, right? So we're going to get 16 cells. So... We're going to do all of our possible gametes here. Okay. Recessive epistasis. Very gripping. <laughs> and riveting. Yeah. Enthralling. That's so cool. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Yes. Now we're going to... Arousing. <laughs> Arousing. <laughs> we're going to fill in... so unnecessary. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to fill in our uh, Punnett square and then use what we came up with earlier to see what the phenotype of each of the genotypes are. Okay? So you guys all at the same point? Yeah, I'm going to start filling it in. It was a glint in your eye. I just saw this. Wow, the right pulse quickened. The Okay. So we just filled in our table is basically what we just did. Yeah. So let's go ahead and like designate each of these as a color and then we'll circle them. So on an exam we should have one of those annoyingly clickable pens. <laughs> it would make the, things yeah. clearer for sure. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. So we're going to find all of our beauty <laughs> colored ones and circle them with red. So, which ones are a beauty? Anybody? Yeah, top left is a beauty. So, basically, anything with a big A and a big C, right? The whole top row. Yeah. Whole top row? Yeah. Okay. So, we're. Yeah. So anything with a big A or a big C. So it's that's like what we came up dash with, like, just means dash unknown. Is, yeah. So that means whether it's capital or lowercase. That's what a dash means. Yeah. Okay. It's a placeholder. A dash is a placeholder. Okay, so we got nine of those. Now let's go on to black. Black will be orange. So anything with little a, little a, and any combination of big C. Okay, so here we have 
Little A, little A, big C, big C. Here and here. And that's it. Three. So we've got red and orange are down. So we've counted go down, down to brown. So, we'll go to so now we need all little C's, basically, because those are going to give us no color. So anything with double little C's, huh? Yep. Anything. Okay. And we get four. Okay. So we ended up with a nine to three to four ratio. And what does that tell us? Recessive epistasis. Oh, yes. yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh